you know in the deep there's adventure and danger, that's where you'll find Diver Dan. The sights that he's seen are surprising and stranger than ever you'll see on the land. A fight in the dark, in the sea black with ink. Our friends are so fearful their hopes start to sink. Never before has the end seemed so near. What fortunes face them to free them from fear? Oh dear, how can we ever rescue the magic shellophone now? We can't even see into the Baron's cave. The prognosis isn't too good. Are uh, you still there here, Baron Stupid? Quiet, you fool. My secret weapon has done the trick. Uh, yeah, that's great, boss. <laughs> hey, grab that fish. Uh, I got one of them by the tail. Uh, if you hold them by the gills, I'll give them a hot pin. Ouch! That's my tail you're holding, you idiot. Oh, uh, sorry, boss. How many times must I tell you to refer to me as Baron Simpleton? Oh, uh, sorry, Baron Simpleton. Dan, I have an idea. We can send Seabiscuit to Miss Minerva for help. She'll surely know how to combat the Baron's secret weapon. That's a good idea. Seabiscuit, can you hear us? <laughs> Seabiscuit, do you think you can reach Miss Minerva and ask her for help? Pony in a big hurry. Dear, this is alone. How worried can you look? Trouble. Whatever is the matter, Sea Biscuit? <laughs> what? That dreadful baron has blinded Diver Dan and the others in octopus ink. Oh, dear. We might have known the baron would do something dark to get his own way. Oh. Baron, hip, bad, pellfish. Glowfish. Oh, Gabby, how right you are. The glowfish is our only hope. With his miraculous head limp, he can lead our friends out of the octopus ink into the light again. Quick, see Biscuit, to the bottomless pit. Summon the glowfish and lead him to the rescue. <laughs> You see, Biscuit. I'll be right with you. Just let me finish recharging my batteries. Carry on, see, Biscuit. Well, it looks like time is on the Baron's side. I'm afraid so. And I've known it to take many hours for this octopus ink to go away. Well, that sea biscuit rounding the bend. Look, look, he has glowfish with him. Oh, bless my starfish. <laughs> I knew Minerva would never fail us. Oh, glowfish, please lead us out of this awful ink. Wait, Georgie. First things first. Don't you think the glowfish should rescue the shellophone first and then show us the way out of this octopus ink? Oh, yes, you're right, Dan. Glowfish, the Baron and Trigger have Miss Minerva's magic shellophone concealed in the Baron's cave. Do you think you can snatch it away from them? I'll see what I can see. Well, Glowfish, that's more than we can do at this point. Curse. More there. Fancy tricks. Uh -oh. mm, what's up, boss? What is that strange glow over there? Something is wrong. 
and call me Baron Useless. Sure, okay, Baron Useless. You got it. The glowfish got the shower phone. Well, now, please, show us the way out of this thing. Let's get the shower phone back to Miss Minerva as soon as possible. Oh, she'll be so glad to see it. Yes, the shower phone will be safe there. Now that Miss Minerva is on the alert for the Baron. <laughs> oh, boy. Are you all right, Glowfish? Why don't you fellas hurry ahead to Miss Minerva with the shellophone? Doc and I will make sure the Baron doesn't know to take you and get the shellophone back. Look, our friend the Glowfish is in trouble. He's collapsed. I was afraid this might happen. The thin water up here and that heavy shellophone has brought on acute anoxia. Quickly. We must get him back to the bottomless pit. Yes, yes. But can we get him there in time? The glowfish has saved our friends from the ink. But now his life ebbs as it hangs on the brink. Will Dan and Doc Sturgeon reach the pit without strife and bring the good glowfish soon back to life? He moves among creatures of frightening features. Flashing teeth, flashing jaws, flapping fins, snapping claws. He protects and he takes his friends under the wing. That's where you'll find Iver Dan. <laughs> <laughs>